I still remain Senator Ahmed Wadada Aliyu Sarkin Yakin Kefi uh, representing Nasarawa West Senatorial District of Nasarawa State. Uh, Senate, no, the Senate notes with a deep sense of loss and sad event of the death of Senator Abu Bakar Anso Sodangi, which occurred on the 10th of March 2024. The Senate also notes that Senator Abu Bakar Anso Sodangi was born on the 31st January 1954 and was elected uh, to the Senate and to represent Nasarawa West or represented Nasarawa West from 1999 to uh, 2011. Observes that the deceased senator was during his lifetime a lawyer of great repute and a member of several professional bodies. One of us here, uh, Senator Aminu Waziri Tambual, was uh, a member of his uh, chamber. Uh, the Senate also observes during his time in the Senate, he was privileged to have had different times served as chairman, Senate Committee on Interior and Committee on FCT, while being a member of several other committees. The Senate further observes that since leaving the legislature, Senator Aubakar Danso Sodangi continued to play the role of a father to all and sundry, both politically and otherwise. Aware that he has been buried according to Islamic rights in his hometown in Nasarawa State. Also aware that the death of Senator Abu Bakr Danso Sodangi is a gr grave loss, not only to Nasarawa West Senatorial District, uh, but to the parliament and Nigeria uh, as a whole. The Senate accordingly resolves to observe a minute silence in honor of Senator Aubakar Danso Sodangi. Two, send a delegation of this distinguished chamber to condole, his to condole with his family and the government of Nasrallah State. Three, call on the federal government of Nigeria to immortalize him. I so move, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. National Assembly, because he was a foundation member of the National Assembly of the Fourth Republic and indeed the entire country. Senator Zodengi was a patriot because he's someone who spent his time in serving this country. Uh, an erudite lawyer, a legislator by excellence, he served very well as a senator of the Federal Republic. I remember when we assumed office in the National Assembly at the beginning of the Fourth Republic in 1999. He was a senator of the Federal Republic while I was a member of the House of Representatives together with the former Senate President and of course Senator Peter Gia and Senator Monir Nwoku. We all were on board at that time as members of the National Assembly. Not only that, I worked with him. He was a member of the Senate Appropriations Committee. While then, I held fort as the chairman of the House Appropriations Committee. And we had the constitution, we traveled together. We traveled to the United States to understudy the budget process of the United States of America. We were in the American Congress. Not only then, there, we also traveled to uh, uh, other countries like Brazil to understudy their fiscal federalism because they operate uh, federalism, you know, there. Uh, so we try to compare the kind of fiscal federalism they have, they had then, and what we, uh, we used to have in this country. So, and each time he spoke, he spoke eloquently as a learned person. Not only a learned person, a learned person by excellence. As a president, we've lost an accomplished legislator. Because I still had in mind that uh, probably we will bounce. Anyway, my brother is here. Uh, there's no way since he's here. But I thought he would be available so that he could uh, continue to serve this country. But this is all about life. There's time for everything. 
God has taken him. And all of us will go one day. Um, it is a known fact. You are, we Nigerians are mostly people of faith. Uh, they are Muslim or Christians. I understand that uh, we came from God and to him we shall go back. Um, I take solace in that all the time. Uh, for this reason, I think we should uh, find a way to, uh, if possible, immortalize him because he was someone who was part and parcel of that team that created the foundation for the contemporary literature we have in this country. Very, very outspoken legislator. He did very well. Did very well. Uh, so I will put it this way that uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow him to rest, rest in, in Al Jannah Fedosi. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Peace. Thank you, Mr. President. Mean was it Tambor representing Sokoto South Senatorial District? Mr. President, my colleagues, it is with heavy heart that I address this Senate this afternoon. I have lost a very, very close mentor and indeed someone who was there for me personally at my hour of need. He was my benefactor. Distinguished Senator Sodangi, as mentioned by Distinguished Senators Wadada and indeed the DSP, was an erudite lawyer. Our path crossed each other's when we were trying to revive the Nigerian Bar Association after the Port Harcourt debacle under the leadership of Chief Aomolo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. A number of us from various branches of the Nigerian Bar Association came together under the auspices of committees, of committee of chairmen and secretaries to see how we can bring back the Nigerian Bar Association. And indeed, distinguished Senator Sudangi, alongside other leaders like Philip Omeadi, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Chief Tony Mobo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Wale Olani Pekun, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, and many others, under the leadership of Everett Williams, were able to come together to bring back the Nigerian Bar Association and to bring the legal family back to one after the Port Harcourt debacle of 1992. After that, Mr. President, Senator Solengi was elected to the Senate. And same year, 1999, I happened to be here in the National Assembly as personal assistant to the Senate leader, then Senator Abdullah Wali. And we worked together. Of course, as someone who was working with Abdullah Wali and himself as a distinguished senator. As time passed by, Senator Abdullah Wali lost the leadership of the Senate, being majority leader. And then, of course, I lost my job of personal assistant to the Senate leader because I was not one of his legislative aides. It was Senator Sodangi Abubakar Danso who offered me to go and take over his chambers and lead his chambers at the head of that chamber, Sodangi A. Danso and Company. I served there up until 2023 when I ventured into running for the House of Representatives and by the grace of God, I won in 2003. So Senator Sodangi played a very, very important role in my life. He has been a great representative of his people. When he was here in the Senate, you could see so many people from Nasarawa coming to meet him. He played very, very important roles and assignments given to him by the Senate. And he was a good representative of his people. He was a good man, he was compassionate, and he was a good family uh, 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 leader. Of course, as said by the DSP, all of our time, his time has come, and we had to go about two to three years ago to bury him in Nasarawa. May Almighty God forgive his, uh, his sins. May he admit him into Jannatul Fedaus. And uh, please, uh, I, I, I once again convey my condolences to his family, to Nasarawa State Government, and indeed the National Assembly. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Senator. He lived a good life. He was a uniter, a peacemaker, and always on the move positively in trying to develop what the present Nasarawa state is. He 
was one of the architects of the present Nasarawa state. And Nasarawa state and its citizens can never forget what Sodengi stood for and still will ever stand for. In our association as Lafia All students, he had played a very prominent role until the end of his life. Even when he was befallen by diabetes that affected his eyes, he never allowed that to keep him down. He kept moving, kept uniting people, kept visiting people, kept solving problems. I remembered when he came to prominence in Nigeria, when he took up a case that women were uh, being oppressed and he took it on, what do you call it, pro, novo, pro bono, and he won that case for the woman. And he lived and died as a champion of uh, emancipation for women. The suggestion by the mover of the motion that he be immortalized could not have come at a better time. I would have been happier if the National Assembly through the Senate President's uh, uh, office will immortalize a structure in this National Assembly after the name Senator Sodengi because he lived a good life. He touched a lot of people's lives, even in the Senate here. May the Almighty Lord forgive him uh, his sins. My people say we are all travelers and anybody that gets his, to his junction he will branch. He has gotten his junction to his junction well and lived well before he reached his junction. We pray that Almighty Lord will take us to our own junction well so that we can also depart well. May the Almighty Allah forgive his sins. Thank you. We did have a Nigerian president who was going to do everything possible to decentralize and factionalize workers' organization in Nigeria so that they cannot speak with one voice. I had then had the duty and the burden to run around to mobilize and to lobby senators and members of the House of Rep to decline to oblige the then president. His wish, which he, uh, he had actually completed um, a draft bill, which the Senate was to decide to enable the president to factionalize the Nigerian labor movement. It is in the course of lobbying around that someone introduced me to Senator Sudangi. I hope I pronounced it correctly. And I tried to explain to him why we needed his support, not to back the executive bill which was designed to weaken the capacity of Nigeria workers to call any government to order if, in their opinion, the government was derailing. I found in Senator Sodagi a man with deep social conscience, one that recognized that no government is too good not to have a contabilitary force that can help government to draw, to, that can help to draw government attention to some of those things that are necessary and to reconcile government policy to the social purpose of government in the first instance. In other words, this distinguished senator who we have now missed stood on the side of justice, on the side of fairness, and on the side of what is right, and the right of citizens to form association for the purpose of defending themselves. He was there not for me as president of NLC at that time. He was there for Nigeria workers, and he resisted the pressure to be used as a tool to fashionalize the labor movement. And I can say, without any fear of contradiction, that is respected voice must have been one of those voices that inflated, that influenced senators at the time. And I want to thank all those senators who declined that request by a former president in, 90, in 2000 or 2003 to fashionalize the Nigeria Labor Congress. The man has already immortalized his name because we Nigeria workers, and even those who have succeeded me, if the then president had succeeded in passing that bill, that any two, three unions can become a labor center, by now we'll have more than 20 NLCs, and it will not be good for our country. So on behalf of those workers who benefit 
from his commitment to fairness, to justice, to the rights of workers, to freedom of association, and to use that freedom to defend their social, economic, and even political interests. I associate myself absolutely with all the five comments that have been made, and I join those who have offered prayers that may the good Lord, who forgive those who have sinned, and we, have all, we are all sinners, may he look at the good side of his life and grant him a special place in paradise. Thank you, Mr. President. Right. With him in the sixth and the seventh Senate. Of course, before then, I was in the House for eight years. When we came into the Senate in 2007, 16 of us from the House crossed over. And I think that number is still the highest ever since crossing from the House of Reps to the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, you will agree with me that when you serve in the House of Reps, you are likely to be more radical than those serving in the Senate. And when we came in, Lady Senator Sodengi had no time to waste but to identify some of us for mentoring, for tutelage, and I want to thank him for guiding us most of the time, even though we felt at that point the Senate needed an injection of some elements of the contents, high contents, a bit of legislative radicalism that the House had in plenty. I use the words, a man of peace, a man of purpose. Anyone who knew Senator Swadengi let knew that he stood for peace all the time. Well, sometimes in the parliament, people will disagree. And in fact, it would not be good that people don't agree at all in the, in, in, in the parliament. At least, the basis of disagreements should be sound, should be patriotic, and that was what we all thought we should be doing in the then Senate, the 6th and the 7th, when we served with him. But at the end of the day, he will be at the forefront to bring the agreeing parties to come together and unite and forge ahead in the national interest. And that is what is expected of us. We still see some elements of bit of radicalism from members of this chamber who cross over from the House. Some will still say, Mr. Speaker, you have to remind him that this is not the House of Reps, this is the Senate. And Mr. Speaker resides in the House. Mr. Senate President resides here. I believe that we should all be people of peace. We should continue to be men and women, distinguished senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that stand for peace. Peace, of course, will breed the kind of environment, the clement environment for progress and development. Mr. President, I said he was a man of purpose. Throughout the time we served with him, the eight years, I didn't see any frivolities in whatever he did. He would always caution, Nigeria first, forget about what you think somebody in another party feels it should be. Nigeria first. Even though he was in the main party, then PDP, but I think later he was uh, in APC before he died. But he stood not for the party, but for the people and the country. Here again, a lesson for us to learn. We may disagree, but at the end of the day, our main purpose should be how do we make life better for our people? How do we make life better for citizens? How do we stabilize 
our country for development and growth. I pray, Almighty Allah, that you solve this in alternative fiddles. And I want to urge the present leadership of the National Assembly. Some efforts were made before to create a museum for the National Assembly where names could be given, specific names could be given to our committee rooms, to our lecture theaters, and so on and so forth. I believe that if we do that, we'll have the opportunity to name those that deserve to be named. And in fact, I recall that in the Seventh Assembly, the then Senate leader was asked to do that job, then Senator Ndoma Egba, and he did a very good job. So let's go back into the archives and see what he did and maybe build on it and see how we can create the opportunity for naming of uh, committee rooms and, and um, wherever is necessary with names of our colleagues either serving or late. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for the privilege. Yes, I think that's uh, in the midst of the contributions over the demise. It has said, Senator Sudangi was a mentor. When I came into the Senate in 2007, I also found myself not just uh, meeting him in the chamber here, I found myself living very near to him at in, in Apo where we still reside. And um, after anything we do in the chamber, he will invite me over to his house. And we used to have a running joke between me and him because he would say, you know, since uh, I'm a Muslim, I can't drink alcohol. I don't know what to do for you. I was just, sir, don't worry. Let me go and get my own. I said, you don't bring it into my house. He was such a very nice and uh, amiable person. And uh, actually mentored us because from the way you comport yourself, from the way you do things here, he will call you back and uh, actually work with you. I remember that I disagreed with him on the floor of the Senate at one time when we were investigating the, uh, I think the uh, minister of FCT then, because at that time he chaired a committee. And later he came back to me and said, you know, you could do your disagreement, but always have facts. I didn't have facts, but I just was shouting and trying to make trouble. And. Uh, I think that also helped me to stay back, and at any time I needed to talk here, I will always be sure that I have my facts. He's such a nice man, and as our people will say, when um, the great people leave this uh, mortal plane, the heavens themselves will recognize it. And I ask that, uh, good Lord, will accept the soul of our very good and dear friend, Senator Abubakar Sudangi. May his soul rest in peace. So of the Senate, uh, just to contribute my voice, uh, that uh, I knew Senator Sudangi uh, personally. Uh, I, 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 and, um, not in the National Assembly, but in the political government. And uh, it was a very uh, agile, very vocal, very considerate, and uh, I, may, I, may, I did say a great peacemaker. To hear that he mentored and produced a speaker of the House of Representatives is a, a good one for me, uh, and um, that is uh, already, you remain an eloquent testimony of the goodness of the man and his large heartedness while alive, uh, the uh, Senator Tambowa. From being his, uh, 
uh, head of chambers, you rose to become a member of the House, and from there you went to become the Speaker of the House, you went to become the Governor of your state for eight years, and by the grace of Almighty Allah, you are now a, a Senator of the Federal Republic, still serving the people. I think it is to his credit also that uh, the people he mentored are making waves. I, I must say that everybody that came across him knew him to be a good man. Yes, they say sometimes he may be restless in terms of wanting everything to be perfect, just like my brother, Senator Warada. Whenever he's restless, he wants things to be, in, to, to be perfect. But the same senator, you can't really have perfection, but you have been trying. Sometimes when you see things going wrong, you move around to correct. And I, from what uh, uh, the former Senate president said, it will seem that you must have come from the House of Representatives. Uh, because he said anybody who came from there must have some bit of radicalism in, in, in him. And then when you come to this place, he <laughs> said, uh, Senator Dube is looking at me. Maybe he was also from the House of Reps. <laughs> so so uh, we didn't mention your name, the Chief Whip. We didn't mention your name. He said in your absence, when you went to pray, that anybody who came from the House of Representatives to the Senate felt that the Senate was dull and wanted to introduce a bit of radicalism here and that they uh, try as they could the Senate still remain oh, the same thing with Bamidele, okay. <laughs> so, but let me uh, give you information that will also surprise you. To show how detribalized uh, the late uh, distinguished Senator Sodanki, who is, was uh, Senator Isunaso, I talked about is uh, how he, he, he mentored him and many other people, but the person that cannot talk, which I have to talk on his behalf, and who is also grieving, is actually the clerk of the Senate. Our brother, Chinedu Francis Akabweze, uh, is here. Uh, take a bow. Yes, he, he, thank you. He, he worked with Senator Sudanki as a young lawyer in his chambers. He mentored him. He worked there for over two years before he was able to secure uh, a job in the National Assembly. And today is a clerk of the Senate. That shows you the kind of character he was. So even from the testimonies here, we must send our condolences to the family and pray to Almighty Allah that he finds repose in paradise. Those are people that we should immortalize. So I'm agreeing with you that God will console his family and God will give them strength and God will produce more Sudankis who believe in Nigeria, who believe in progress, and who believe in the peace of humanity. So we go into the prayers. Prayer one. Observe a minute silence in honor of distinguished Senator Abubakar Suranki. Those in support of prayer one say aye. aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. Prayer two. Send a delegation of this distinguished chamber to condole with this family and the government of Nasarawa State. Those in support of prayer two say aye. aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. Prayer three. Call on the federal government of Nigeria to immortalize him. Uh, any amendment to prayer three? Yes, Senator Sukwa. The motion has been amended to read, call on the federal government of Nigeria and the National Assembly to consider and find ways to immortalize the name of the Simi Senator Abuaka Sudangi for its services to our nation. This has been seconded. Those in support of this prayer as amended say aye. aye. Those again say nay. The ayes have it. May we now rise to observe a minute silence 
in honor of his death. May the great soul of distinguished Senator Abubakar Danso Sulanki rest in perfect peace.